Hello viewers, I must be and welcome back to Prey. Let's uh let's head out of the game's tutorial area. I have to say, so far, this is really appealing to me. I'm really digging the uh the design of this facility. Uh and I love I loved the first Deus Ex so much. I played it at just the right point in my life. I mean, I I, I like that game for reasons that are not entirely that game, probably. But, you know, if you ever play, had one of those games, you'd like, you just play it at that perfect time, you're like 13 or 14 or something, and your mind's like just opening up to the possibilities of the world. And, uh, yeah, that game got its hooks in me good. And this is feeling a lot like that. Although there's considerably more mutilated corpses in this one. Ready for your first real view of the world? Okay. I saw motion and I panicked. Alright, well... Are you a real briefcase? You are a real briefcase. Everybody, jam stuff in your eyes. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Everything you know is about to change. You remember how your parents always told you it's not a good idea to jam stuff in your eyes? We are in... Okay, we actually are on the space station. So... I wonder exactly what the timeline is. Oh. Ah, uh, it's gonna be one of these games. The station's falling apart. We have to get out of here. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Damn straight. Tell us what is open for you to explore. Ah, right. uh, I see that. I mean, it's possible this stuff was just shaken off the table. But I do see two drink cups. So if I try to pick up the apple... Okay. I assume if it was a mimic, I wouldn't have been allowed to pick it up. I assume that I cannot enter a state where there's just a mimic in my inventory waiting to spring. This is a, uh... It's a fancy place. Well, I guess if you're gonna build a huge space station, uh, you're already past the point where you're worried about expense. What is this general access? There's a safe in there. Psychotronics. I don't... I guess that means, like, the mechanics of stuff that you jam in your brain? Ooh, shotgun shells. Who carries around a briefcase with shotgun shells in it? Was the Punisher on the station? Okay, so there's a thing we're supposed to see over that away. We should like look around first, right? Oh my god, there's so many there's so many objects in here. I see you. Okay. Yeah, I look like a crazy person. Oh Kelly Randolph. Oh, you know Kelly Randolph. It's always with those lemon peels. Okay, the fans are freaking me out because they're casting moving shadows. Oh, oh, it sees us. Uh, where's my? Actually, glue gun. The glue gun might want might be what we want here. So does it? Oh, it has like a, it has like a laser. I need to get closer because the goo the goo projectiles just have to make a lot of fall. Ooh, wow, oh that really hurt. Did I did I do it? Okay, you can't jump away from the projectiles. It looks pretty good. Let's get him. It's not actually dead. Okay, it takes like exactly all of my stamina to kill one of those. Shaker lemon pie. Well, let's just eat that. So, I have a status effect that looks like a burrito with a bite taken out of it, maybe? But I don't know what it is. Oh, we have more stuff on our thing now. I can see my status. I am well fed. I have increased health regeneration. Oh, okay. Please don't get radiation poisoning or you will not feel well fed anymore. Uh, actually, while we're in this menu, we might want to 
consume some more food or use a med kit or something because I am not at a lot of health. Methuselah apple. Oh, this is beer. Beer's not good for you. It just makes you uh, immune to psychology. All right, 73 health I have to do. 2030. Talos 1 becomes huh. fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Interesting. Transstar Board of Directors. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on project. We should do this from the other end. Here we go. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, huh. Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. So we're on a space station that has some parts in it that are like 70 years old? I guess it's not a big deal. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. The attempted assassination of Kennedy. known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. That's actually an interesting question. If Kennedy had not been assassinated, how would that have affected the space race? 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. Okay. 2025. The Trans Star. And then Trans Star purchases and privatizes the. Okay. I guess that makes sense. That's an interesting. That's a weird alternate history branching point. Oh, hey, that's just a neuromod. I'll take that. So do, do we want to, like, do this now? Because I could get, um... I could get the ability to move stuff and then go back and check out those bathrooms or something. We can also pick up repair. You know what? Let's, let's hold on to it for now. Let's not make that decision just yet, because we don't have to. Oh, uh, I see this. I see this. Oh! Jesus. Okay. Those are explosive. <laughs> so I guess if a mimic hides as one of those, he's just gonna get to jump me. I should not hit... I should not use a wrench to hit things in a video game that are red. I should know better than that. Uh, the glue gun description said we could uh, do this, right? Look at that. We need pass the pipes. That's probably what it's actually for. Okay. Original Neuromod prototype. Oh, so it like went on the spine, it looks like, maybe? Interesting. A helmet. Am I wearing a helmet right now? Well, it doesn't matter. I can't wear this one. Ooh. Okay, so, uh, where are we going? Ooh, security. I think I have a real, like, an objective, but, uh, security is a place where I think we are likely to find out the guns. Oh, Jesus! Oh, there's so many of them! Blue gun, blue gun. Stop, stop. Oh, reload, reload, quickly! Jesus. Okay, that scared the crap out of me for sure. Oh, the glue wears off eventually. Let it go. Okay. Oh. Yeah, uh, heart rate elevated. Okay, so what's this take? Necropsy required. Is this, is this a neuromod thing? Uh, physician, physician, metabolic boost. Oh, doubles the duration of well, fu well fed and the health gained from food. This actually is probably worth getting. Oh, here we go. Necropsy. So we can we can get Typhon organs can be recycled for exotic material, which is used in the fabrication of more neuromods. Okay, I think we probably want to get this quickly then, and try to harvest as much of this uh, as much of these Typhon organs as possible. Because if we can if we can start creating our own neuromods, let's reload the glue gun before I forget here. 
Right, but I, uh, I have no health, and I should probably eat. Or just use... We found a couple of these. Okay, whatever the game is doing graphically when the mimics show up is uh, definitely heightening my panic. The graphics get all, like, weird and high contrast. Yeah, security first. Let's try to find a gun. I'll feel a lot better if I have a gun. And, of course, it is locked. Can we hack it? No. Key card required. Well... Yep, there it is. It's a video game. Of course, there's a vent system that you can just climb through. Good morning, Kalos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing Voices. symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. I think it's just an automated message. Okay. Alright, I don't love this. We're gonna fall in here and we're gonna, like, back into a corner quickly. Because eh. eh. any, any mimic could have done what I just did and crawled through that little vent. Alright, well. Maybe we're safe. Oh, Sarah Elazar, yeah, she's the security chief, right? I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to de detain Dimitri Bowser. Uh, you can't trust those Bowsers. He witnessed the incident, and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if necessary. See, these are not dated in any way, which <clears throat> I find a little frustrating. It would be a lot easier to tell what's going on here if anything had a date on it. You know, I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy like you know who. I'm sending this because just after the alert, I heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out because I'm starting to think there's something in the station that we don't know about. It would be real bad if you were living on a space station and there was something in there with you. Please add Michaela Ilyushin to the watch list. While she's currently performing her duties, her condition makes for a potential security risk. Her access should be restricted to work and crew facilities. Please don't let her near the labs. Also, flag any communications between her and Dr. Galagos out of Psychotronics. We're accumulating a long list of names, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to remember any of these people. Normally, I'd advocate Neuromod removal, but her condition prevents this. Keep me apprised. Her condition prevents this. I wonder if he means just, like, her job is too important to have her lose memories, or... Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing key card. It should be one of your highest priorities. It's labeled EP101. Let me know as soon as you find anything. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, uh -huh. this is exactly what I was looking for. Dimitri's being held like you asked. He knew the door code, so I changed it to 1129. Okay, hopefully the, uh, hopefully the game will remind me of that when I find whatever door that is. A highlighted excerpt from the Song of Deborah in the sacred text of Beta Israel. Her hand she put to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's hammer, and with the hammer she smote Sisera. She smote through his head, yea, she pierced and struck through his temples. Huh. That's, uh... Huh. Alright, well, let's not walk around with the shotgun out, because I only have 14 rounds, and I'd like to be a little bit judicious with them for the moment. What is that? Oh, it's like a turret. Okay, I think it just looked right at me and didn't freak out. I'm gonna take that as evidence that we are we're pals. Character sheet. <laughs> hey, I have this font. Captain Stabfellow, played by Elias Black. Huh. That's cute. I like these little bits of flavor. Elias, you and I might have some things in common, although I doubt I would ever name one of my characters Captain Stabfella. I'm trying to be a little subtle. When oh, he's got dice, what are these, D10s? Oh, D8s. Cool. Alright, uh, emails. Help, help, help. Now, Elias, anyone please. From Niels Kiergaard. Help, Niels again, this is not a hoax, life or death. Help us please now. 
Help, this is Nils. We are trapped here in Shuttle Bay. Okay, we're going to have to check that out. Morgan used office keypad. Set up a recurring task for setting Morgan's keypad. We're getting code change requests every month. It's the same pattern. Morgan asks us what the current code is, asks if it was requested or if we chose it, then asks for a new one. It's unusual. Last time she asked, I was right there. So I told her the code and she gave me a blank look. A code we'd set less than a week ago. Maybe she's testing our response time? So was I having memory problems before they locked me into that weird, like, repeating day pattern, or what? There's a lot of information that we do not yet have here. What is that? Oh, it's another weapon upgrade kit. Hold up, we actually have some, some weapons now. How do these how do these work? Okay, combine. Yeah, let me pick a gun, so like our new shotgun. Okay, we get to we get to increase the stats, sure. Oh yeah, upgrade the damage of the shotgun. Okay, and upgrading it further will require a uh, skill. Okay. What about our glue cannon? What can we upgrade on this? Ooh, the range. I think that's probably a good idea. Reduce the ammunition required to incapacitate targets. You know, we found a bunch of ammunition right when we got it, but we haven't found that much since, and I have been going through it pretty rapidly. Let's go for this first. Let's try to make it more efficient. I would hate to run out. And upgrading this further requires lab tech, because it's, like, not a gun, I guess. Okay. Okay, I follow. What else is on this computer? Crew. 29, 26. What does that mean? Oh. Active lifetime monitoring. monitoring. So, okay, we're not the only people who are still alive. Maybe we should go looking for these uh, survivors. Yeah, there's actually quite a few people who are, who are still walking around. So what are these? Uh, what are these check marks mean? Locate crew member. Find Nash Underwood in Talos lobby. Oh. Oh, it, it picks them out, and then that's really cool, actually. Um, that said, I'm pretty sure Nash Underwood is one of the corpses we've already interacted with. That name looks real familiar to me. Who else has a little check mark? Locate Morgan Yu in... Oh. That's me. I clicked on myself. I'm a vice president. <laughs> Objective complete. Found Morgan Yu. I sure did. Okay, let's go looking for somebody who's still alive and who is in the lobby. Alright, what do we got? 21 meters away. Okay. Oh wow, there's a lot of crew. So every person on the station is in this computer and we can just ping the locations of their corpse or... Oh, this is a really cool system. Man, that's a... That is a... That's a really neat design for a thing that would definitely exist. Oh, I'm super pleased with this. I'm just... I'm loving this game so far. Okay, well, there's a safe over there. Let's try to crack that. Is this hackable? It is, but it would require level 3. Is there a note somewhere? We didn't find a note about this, did we? I've already forgotten. Uh, notes. I, <laughs> we recorded that guy's character sheet, just in case. What if a game of Fatal Fortress, bre Fortress breaks out and we forgot to roll up a character first? No, I don't see any notes about this. Oh, cabinets. Okay. Huh. Oh, wait, what is, is this passage? Judges 526. Unfortunately, I think this is a four digit. Yeah. Well, let's try, um, 0526. Ha <laughs> ha. Shotgun shell fabrication plan, a recycler charge. What are you? When detonated, the recycler charge breaks down the molecular structure of nearby objects into recyclable material. Really? Your uniform offers some degree of protection, but is not fail-safe. Do not stand too close to the recycler charge. 
Okay. That's actually really cool. A null wave transmitter. Oh. What is this? Developed in psychotronics, the null wave transmitter emits a burst of signals which suppress the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast. Huh. I'm assuming that the like the the weird laser that the uh, that the phantom shot me with uh, qualifies as psionic, so this might be useful for forcing them to come and fight in melee. And an EMP charge. I feel fairly confident I know what this does. Highly effective against robots, turrets, yep, yeah, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So much fancy tech. Also, water cooler. Drinking from the water cooler did not, uh, did not do anything. Oh, yeah, that's the thing I knocked onto the floor, right? Can I, I seriously can't open this? Oh, this is the holding room. That dude's seen better days. It was a mimic pretending to be a man's corpse. No, it was a mimic inside of a man's corpse. That that makes a little bit more sense. Dimitri Bowser has some suit repair kits. Oh, there's probably the bar underneath my health, right? Suit integrity, yeah. So what does a repair kit do exactly? Uh, here we go. 25 damage, okay. I guess we'll use one, because we're more than 25. Yeah, I, I'll use this, too. I don't want to get jumped by a mimic and die before I can figure out what's going on. Okay, well, Dimitri Bowser has seen better days. Miss Elazar, I don't know what I saw, but I was just trying to do my job. Now I worry I might not get a chance to talk to you, so I'm writing this. I don't recall the last time I was scared, but what happened in Sim, I just can't get it out of my head. Whatever's happening, I want to help, not sit here in this room. I'm starting to feel like people on station haven't been shooting straight. Like, what do they actually do in Psychotronics? No one I talk to goes in there. And Yuri Kimura has unnumbered neuromods in her office that I thought you should know about. Yuri Kimura has unnumbered neuromods in her office. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the guy? His face isn't all screwed up. Wait, maybe the Mimic wasn't? No, he was sitting in a chair. The chair was the Mimic. Yeah, so I guess the, the Mimic didn't get to him, because he's not all messed up in the face. So what happened to him? How'd he die? And there's the actual chair. Yeah. Weird. Um, but what I was going to say is I think this is the guy who was firing the gun uh, when the weird thing happened right before we got gassed. You are a chair, right? Okay. Huh. Yuri Kimura. Let's use the, uh... I know I had picked out a, a living person already, but let's use this. Let's see if we can figure out Yuri Kimura. Are these people's names not in... Oh, they're in... They're in alphabetical order by first name. Hey, wait, wait, wait. VP Executive Assistant. I had a... I had a secretary? I had a secretary named Jason. Where is Jason? Oh, there's Yuri's office, they call it. Oh. Well, uh, there's Jason. I can't seem to stand up. There we go. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, let's go to Yuri's office. And since Yuri's office is marked out, I'm going to try to... What was the name of the person that I had marked before? I don't remember. They weren't far away. Was it Maxine Ford? Yeah, okay. We'll try to get to her. And we'll go for Yuri's office. I wish I could take these dice with me. Oh, okay. It's the other side of that door. Alright, so we've got some direction now. We've also had a number of terrifying close calls. So wait, where was that hallway outside of security? It must be over here. Oh, the shuttle bay. Oh, that's a turret. Are we... We're good? Yeah, it definitely sees me. How you doing? That's killing mimics. Good morning, Talos. 
All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. Okay, I couldn't make out anything that the announcement said because the turret decided it had to do a really loud diagnostic right as the speaking circuit. Ah! Hell yeah, turret! Okay, so we have determined that they are not bulletproof. Huh. Also found a key card for the trauma center. Uh. You know what? Okay. It looks like we can't hurt the med kits, so I may as well check before I pick them up. Alright, let's look around in the area that the turret is currently covering for a little bit. Oh, the main lift. Sure. Huh. So we're down here. Alright, guess it's broken. Getting around is going to be a problem. The main lift is broken. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. Huh. Oh, Jason. Why do so many people have baseball gloves? Howdy. Debug build version 0.7.6. A broken cooler fan. Well, I guess we can't get into the shuttle bay yet to figure out what happened in there. I mean, I could take a guess or two. What is that noise? Scanning target, no alien material yeah. detected. Diagnostic check. Okay. It checked me out. I was concerned for a second that I was about to get shot. So it says carry. I can walk up to it. Oh, I can carry them around and set them up where I want? Okay. We're gonna do some of that. Here, I'm gonna explore this way. Cover me. Okay, that's a sensible number of chairs. Uh, is there any cool stuff over here? There's some food. Okay, so when we eat the food, we get some immediate health and we also get some reach out. So I guess I, I don't have to eat as much as I have been eating, probably. I don't know what the effective uh, angle of effectiveness is what I'm trying to say here is. Like, how much can they turn from side to side? Restrooms. What? What is this? It's just cans of oil? Some kind of cleaning solvent. Well, they're all actually cans of cleaning solvent. The med kit is gone from the med kit dispenser. Maybe somebody's alive in here? That's a lot of towels. I mean, there should be towels. It's a bathroom, but... Still, it's a lot of towels. Okay, there's not actually anything interesting in this bathroom, it looks like. What about this bathroom? That's a lot of toilet paper. Yep, toilet paper in weird positions on the floor. I know what's up here. That one's a mimic. Gotcha. Oh! Wait a minute, what are these? Where'd these come from? Oh! Still one up. Ready? Man, they're fast. They get around behind you really quickly. Okay. They must have followed me in, because they're not any of the things that were in here. Yeah, here's all the toilet paper and all the towels. 
Huh. Okay. I need some neuromods so that I can start getting all of the uh, alien parts out of these things. I wonder if the corpses stick around or... Ooh, what's this? The space elevator. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Stork Tower, has allowed, them to, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities in commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch-up. The World Union of Space Industry has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of a second elevator would result in construction costs one quarter of the original. Understandably, U.S. officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives remain that the sizable investment risks for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, Wusi has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators, essentially space-age squatting. Okay, well that's not, like, super relevant to what we're doing here. But these mirrors are really not very effective. They can... They, they only reflect pure white light. Huh. Yeah, the mimics must have followed me in. I don't know where from. They got past the turret, okay. Maybe the turret doesn't have very good range. Maybe I'm, like, outside of it. Well, hold on. Let's... Before we do anything else, let's try to get to Yuri's office uh, and get those neuromods. Now, when he said unnumbered neuromods, I wonder what he actually meant by that. Did he mean neuromods without numbers on them, like they're all supposed to be numbered? Or did he mean, like, a lot, and he's just not a great English speaker? Okay, I can hack the door to the IT department. You would think that the IT department of all places... Ooh, wow, this is a longer one. I think the IT department of all places would have a functional security system. Oh. Oh. Ow, I took like 15 damage there. Is it going to be the same? Okay, no, it's randomly generated every time. Okay, careful, don't touch the red thing. Oh, I I pressed it. I swear I pressed it. Ow. Okay, it's 14 damage each time. Let's let's give that one more go. So it's it is randomized though. So I guess we can uh, we can just keep trying keypads until we get a a good one. Yeah, my health is low. My health is low and I don't have a lot of med kits, right? I have two. I guess I picked a couple up. And also this beer. Okay. be real stealthy. Ooh, coffee. Okay, so I'll drink a couple of them and Maxine Ford is this way, incidentally. This is not the place I was supposed to be going. <laughs> okay, it's near an explosive canister. Oh, it moved away. Did it knock that over? Or is that a mimic? Doesn't seem to see me. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't explode. I was hoping it would explode. Oh, not dead. Okay, okay. I got it. I got them both. Oh, okay. Uh, let's reload the shotgun. So they have more organs, and they also seem to have a lot of stuff on them. Am I getting back my shotgun shells because I shot them with shotgun shells? I guess not, because this guy didn't have any. And my inventory's full. Wait, my inventory's not full. Oh, it needs a two. It needs a two square tall space. Yeah, we've gotta we gotta expand this. I guess that's what the neuromods will be for after we uh, after we get the necropsy thing, because I do think that's important. 
so... I almost died. I'm glad that I didn't uh, try that with uh, with normal weaponry, like before getting the shotgun, I mean. Alright, let's take a couple of these. I don't have any med kits left, it looks like, so let's stop running into enemies for a while. Or I guess get better at the combat. Okay. Chairs. Yep, chairs are real. Ooh. Security office access. Wait, is the security office the place that I just broke into recently? Performing a sneak attack restores health. Oh, these are like, um... Hell yeah. These are like runes from Dishonored, I guess. Plug them into your suit and you can unlock more. Okay. Chipsets. Some broken cooler fans. Fantastic. Alright. Maxine Ford is in here. We need an IT supply closet. Okay, well... Staff Lounge. What is that? It's like a vase? Well, I mean, I guess a bunch of stuff here is knocked over. Still. Oh! The instincts! Take that, mimic. So I guess they don't have to be copies of things in the immediate area, because I don't see one of those. Maybe they can just be a copy of anything that they have seen? Okay, there's a turret down there. What are our objectives? Our objectives are up there and way over there. I was on that staircase, right? Well, you know, we're at the sta staff lounge already. Let's have a look. Oh, man. Nope. Well, I, we can come in far enough to check this body, probably. Nope. I'm gonna die. I think I, I think I juked it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I guess if my health is below 20, it regens. That's good to know. I'm definitely a little concerned about dying here. We got... Great. All that trouble for some biohazard waste. Alright, what do I think are the things? I think that chair over there is. I think this chair is. Because I think these are the things that fell over right as I entered. Okay, let's just... Uh, maybe that was cowardly, but, uh, you know, I like to live. International art. Uh, renowned Belgian sculptor Frederick Smart sculpted the work Smoke Signals, which forms the centerpiece of the employee dy Okay. I don't need to read about all the art on camera. Maybe I'll come back and do this later. I dig world building and everything, but, uh... Also, I just pick up anything the game lets me pick up, regardless of whether I think it has value, apparently. Alright. Okay, I was gonna say... I was pretty sure... Oh, there's another one. They kind of dodge, too. Alright, what was that? That was three. I'm pretty sure that chair is one. How many do I think are in this room? Also, I gained ten health from that sneak attack, so that's, uh... Chips, that's already coming in handy. What else do I think could be one? Actually, it could be that chair, and maybe he knocked that chair over. Alright, let the stamina regen. Okay. So, ooh, he had four shotgun shells. Nice. So when you, when you glue them, they just wait until you hit them. Actually, we should be eating this food. 
both because my health is really low and oh man where's that thing I just picked up here we go uh, both because my inventory is really low and my health is really low okay some more flowers delicious agave cl plant clippings Oh, hey, the trauma center. We're supposed to get in there. Do I have a map? Okay, I am I am keeping a map. And it's got a functional key and all kinds of important stuff. Okay. I didn't actually want to use the map. I just wanted to be sure I had one. We're so close. We just need one. We need one more Neuromod, right? Uh, no, I only have one, and actually I need, like, a lot more. Well, I suppose I should get this right now. Increases, uh, the effectiveness of medkits. Well, maybe not right now. Let's wait until we actually have some medkits. I thought I had picked up more Neuromods. Just eat the candy, I guess. Yeah, we'll just eat all this food. What is this? Unlabeled food will be thrown out Friday. I hate it when people don't label their food. Alright, I guess we'll just leave some of this food here. Come back for it later, maybe. Octavia Figs has a transcribe. Which is what my fancy little cell phone thing is called. Are you on your way? On my way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, uh, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. Yeah, there were three vacuum cleaners. Oh, all of a sudden there's four. Well, how frustrating. Yeah, I see what's going on here. Ooh, what's this? A recycler. Oh, okay. There's a transfer junk function. So all the all the items we pick up with gray backgrounds are just for recycling. That's pretty cool. How's this work? Recycle, get stuff. We'll get plants and molecules and an equals sign. Oh, that's so cool! Look at that! So, does each one of these little cubes take up an inventory space? How is this working? Okay, everything of a type goes into space. So we have 5.85 units of organic material. and Okay. Oh, and exotic material. This is what the neuromods are made out of. So I guess this is what it refines the alien stuff into. Okay, well, now we have lots of inventory space to go pick up that food. This game is really cool. I know that uh, sometimes my affect uh, causes it to sound like I am not being entertained by things. But I'm really, I'm having a blast so far. This this kind of game is extremely up my alley. Oh yeah, she had some shaker lemon pie. Okay, so we're healthy. We have inventory space again. We have all kinds of materials, which I assume we will use in a fabricator at some point. What was I doing? I was Oh, I was supposed to be going to Yuri's office. I keep getting sidetracked because of the fact that everything in this game is fascinating to me. Oh, so this is some of that art they were talking about, which is kind of interestingly placed to allow you to climb around on it. Is that a little ledge? Let's, um... Let's quick save before we try to climb on that. Okay, yeah, I can just... I can just take a shortcut. I really appreciate the developers putting stuff like that in there. Ooh, human resources. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of levels of leverage to get in there. We went through IT security already. So I guess let's let's collect plant clippings because they refine into organic material. 
Yuri's office is this way, in the sales division. Which we cannot hack. Alright, well... That makes me real nervous. Shoot. So we need to go... Okay, map. Help me out here a little bit. I'm facing this way. Okay, the map is not actually that helpful. We haven't been to enough places. I'm sure that there's a, uh, a map console somewhere. And in fact, a lobby is a really sensible place for a thing like that to be. Let's have a little bit more of a look around below the lobby floor and see if we can't find a map generator. What's this? Employee orientation. Okay, I have a brilliant plan. Let's not go in there alone. There's no reason to do that. I'm going to set up a turret like right in the doorway. Or at least watching the doorway. And if stuff gets crazy in there, I will just run to the turret. Yeah, you tell him. Ooh, is that a legend over there? Oh, no, it's just another advertisement for the Neuromod. Oh, man, there's a lot of objects in here. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! Okay. So it looks like the door's not going to stay open. Can I just bring him in here? There we go. I could hack and repair him if I had more skills. It doesn't look like he needs to be hacked. So maybe I don't need to hit him. Oh! Oh, that... Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Turret, help me. I think it's trying to trick the turret into shooting me, which I think is where I took some of that damage from. This chair is fake, right? No, I thought I saw... Huh. Maybe the turret got them all? Okay, well, this thing being in here probably saved my life. Jesus. Oh, a lectern. We can carry it around. If only we had more leverage. Alright, well, I think there's not really anything else in here. Can I play with this? No, I can climb on it. Or over it, I guess. Oh, there's a little panel. No, but it doesn't respond to any button presses. Alright. Oh, hey, midkit. Alright, this seems like a good time to uh, spend this Neuromod here. So we need to find four more before we can uh, actually be getting all the resources off of enemies. Oh, I forgot I had this. Oh, that's right, we have a bunch of food. I want to bring my turret with me. Maybe it's a bad thing that a turret saved my life, because now I'm going to want to carry one around everywhere I go. Oh. Well, it looks like I will not be getting in here anyway. Yeah, I can't smash these open. Maybe you have to get in from a different way. Okay, so we should still have another turret over here, right? No, this is the turret from over here. Alright, if I was a map of the station, where would I be? We'll just leave this turret. Good Carlos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. I will just leave that turret in a place where I can easily run back to it if I get attacked by something. It's facing into the majority of the room, so... Alright, 
Taking all this garbage makes a lot more sense now. It looks like the corpses don't go anywhere, so I guess I can just come back to the ones that I, uh, that I killed earlier and harvest the extra stuff from them. Man, where is, uh... So it's not in the shuttle bay. We were in there. We came from over here, right? This is where we first came into the room. I didn't see a map. Oh, it has this directory. You are here. Trauma. All right, maybe we should just go to the objective marker. It looks like my uh, my exploration may be a little too gated for the moment. I need to pick up some more neuro mods and some abilities and stuff. All right, how am I gonna get up there? Maybe I just glue gun it. Well, it looks like it's on the top floor. So let's go all the way up to the top. Or at least all the way to the top of this lobby area. Alright, yeah, it looks like I'm maybe on the right level. I have 205 glue gun left. I wonder if the thing I have to do is just, like, glue gun across and then smash my way through. Well, you know what, let's try, um, let's try going over to the other side first and see if there is a doorway. We'll take the shortcut. Ah! I managed to miss it almost entirely. Oh, we've been on the other side of this door. Also, I wasted, like... Eh, it wasn't really that much glue gun ammo. I guess this thing's pretty ammo efficient, even without the, uh... Even before the upgrade. Alright, trauma center. Well, we did want to go in here anyway, and since I have the key card. What uh what a mess. And as always, the first thing we do is smash all of the chairs with a wrench. Alright. Uh, what's in the garbage? Some banana peels. Great. Sweet, sweet organic matter. I sound like a little bit of a monster. Sylvain Bellamy's tracking bracelet. So then the tracking system won't be able to find him anymore because this is what it's homing in on. And I'm assuming he's not here. What is... Oh. It's junk. And its yield is... I'm assuming that's very low. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Let's not even carry this around. Okay. Well, what the hell. Can't pull those records up. They're not in the system. Uh, oops. I tried to mouse wheel down to, uh, to scroll down, but you have to actually press this little button. So wait, let's start at the beginning of the email chain. Who is the NSP being administered to? Inventory shows a case of the booster shots are missing. Sorry I should have informed you. It was for Chief Ilyushin, Mild Physiognomic Fatigue. We've seen that name before. Ilyushin was the one that was uh, they were supposed to keep an eye on for some reason. Can you transfer her charts and family records as well? Weird, I can't pull those records up. They're not in the system. Okay. Intrigue. Attention all security officers in trauma. You have multiple people en route with injuries as well as a possible fatality. One of them is Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. Do not take him into trauma. He must be taken to psychotronics. This is an extremely grave security and health issue. Okay, so we're going to have to get into psychotronics to find his body to find the key card that's supposed to be on it. It's very inconvenient. Well... We're in here. Let's have a look around. Get everything of value. Great. Biohazardous waste. I'm sure it breaks down into material components anyway. Alright. What the f... What is that? Can I lean? I can. Okay, it looks like a phantom except on fire. Uh, this might be a shotgun sort of time. Maybe it should be a glue gun and shotgun sort of time. 
I can also try out some of my fancy grenades. You know what I'm definitely going to do is uh, quick save. All right, let's, uh, let's sneak up on it and try to get the first strike here. Okay, secured pharmaceuticals. Ooh, I do want in there. What's that sound? Is there something? It sounds like there's something really close to me. Surprise! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, my suit integrity. The better condition your suit is in, the more damage it will absorb. Uh, use it. Okay. Don't worry about that. Oh! I, okay. I kind of think I would have killed that thing if that suit integrity pop-up hadn't shown up. Because it uh, interrupted my shooting. It looked like it was on very low health. But it did a lot of damage to me very quickly without even obviously attacking. It's probably the case that proximity is bad. I can't tell which direction it's looking. Oh, maybe I walked in this fire on the ground. I tried to shoot at the explosive canisters near it. It... Boy, these things are fast, man. Okay. It's in there. We can, uh... Is it in here? It is. It's trying to be sneaky. Oh! The, the canister exploded as soon as I dropped it. I wonder if... That was because I handled it too roughly, or if it's because the thing, the thing broke it. Okay, let's not do that. I can kill this. It doesn't actually seem to have that much health. Alright. I like the beginning of this plan, where we sneak up and then shoot it. We got it from far away and immobilize it. Oh, I thought it did not last. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, it's so close. Reload, reload. Did I get it? It did. It has a lot of organs and this apple that I'm going to eat straight out of its corpse. Just jam the apple in my face. What is going on over here? Patient tested positive for non-small cell lung cancer. Patient did not list... Gustav Leitner has lung cancer. Contact him immediately. Okay, that's... Huh. So, this is just some stuff on the ground that's on fire? Okay, the glue puts it out. Well, I have to think if there was another enemy in the area, they probably would have responded to all the violence, so... Uh... Let's take this, because we can stack that with things we already have. Actually, I can eat some food from my inventory. There we go. And now we can pick up an expired plasma bag. Wait, what is that noise? Who's speaking? Let's... Hold on. Let's reload before we go walking into anything. Ooh. Boy, when we find a fabricator, we're going to be in heaven. More often called white noise due to the telltale spots said to be like static in the victim's eyes, white noise isn't just a medical condition, and it's more than the wild, almost witch-doctor-like claims of psychic ability. Dr. Deo Igwe, anyone? Oh yeah, that guy, he's the worst. It's disenfranchisement. It says the victim can never have a neuromod, nor can their brain be mapped. It's the end of everything that is about a person. Well, that seems a little dramatic. Who is Transtar to decide? Will we let them add a biological caste system to the human race? So it's a... It's just it's a medical condition that prevents the neuromods from working? And apparently that's a really big deal. Okay, we can't hack this thing. We're gonna look around for a password, I guess. System alert. Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Is the computer saying? What is, where is that coming from? Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Look around. What looks out of place? Well, there's spare parts. I mean, this could be something. I don't know. This place looks like it's probably legit. Oh, I should fix my suit. Right, right, right. Uh, there we go. System alert. Please, 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 with a cherry on top, fix the medical operator that's been sitting on your desk. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. I did not have the ability to fix you. Repair two. Yeah, that's... That's going to be quite a few uh, neuromods. Right, can I compress some things in my inventory, or even just, I guess... Well... I guess I'm not going to drop something to pick up more garbage. We'll just have to remember that there's stuff out here. Ooh. There's a lemon peel and a banana peel in this microwave. Which suggests that somebody does not understand how a microwave is used. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. I feel... Is it silly that I feel, like, really bad about not being able to help him? Hendrik, Hendrik DeVries. DeVries? DeVries? Uh, oh. Why does everybody have, like, fruit peels on them at all times? Oh, hey, it's the... That's not... A, I was trying to pick up the Rorschach test. Apparently I can't do that. Oh. I guess this is where they devised the test or something? It's strange. Studies show there is a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging among the population of crew stationed for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimized with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk while including as many Earth-like amenities and recreations as possible. Yeah, I could see that happening. Space not being super great for you. Session logs. Sarah something. Danielle show. Morgan you. Okay, well. I don't think it really helps us to know that they are logging some people's sessions. I can't, can't think of a way to make use of that information. this. For correct drift assessment, data should be gathered repeatedly from the same subject over time. What do we have in here? Session logs. My concern with Dr. Calvino is increasing. His symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to delusions and paranoia. His increased agitation in this session has given me cause to take his issues up with Alex. I guess we'll uh, grab these audio logs and listen to them while we're looking for Tell me about the stuff. Dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um, it's always in my lab, and um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Well, Good morning, nothing. Carlos. Breakfast At first, in the cafeteria I don't want to turn it on, on. but... I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole. An immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have huh. to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like? Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. This image here. Dr. Calvino. Does it look like this? No. No, no, that, that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Huh. That is a weird, uh, weird interview. 
I did not realize that pressing that button was going to make a robot talk a bunch over the audio log, so sorry about that. Diagnosing. No trauma or illnesses detected. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, unless you're oh. interested in medical trivia or a joke. I guess he could have healed us. Hold on, tell me a joke. I hope you're practicing good nutrition and daily exercise. I don't get it. Maybe it's uh maybe it's a thinker. Oh, hold on, this isn't where I was. I know audio logs, right? But some of them may have important information. Sarah's hostilities toward me continue unabated. This is the security chief. This distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did lend me a bit of insight. I might be able to use in future sessions. Oh, how optimistic. Come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the fire. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. Hello, nice to see you. Restless. Shh. And you're better now? Not These robots are restless. disrespectful. I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that, fighting... Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Core. Because this station, it's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. The research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Huh. It's a lot of a lot of world building stuff that probably actually is not going to be super relevant. So Matthias, I don't know what to tell you. He walked into an experiment without a psychoscope and it went sideways. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is the Typhon can force other beings to empathize with them. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this and get them to empathize with us. Please keep Mr. Young in quarantine for the time being. So what is a psychoscope? It, it sounds like they use it to keep the Typhon out of their heads. I would like one of those. We're going to have to look around for one of those. Please keep staff away from the quarantine area. We have a potentially contagious subject in there. At this time, only Dr. Cole and myself should have access, and here's a code. All right, let's get the last of these audio logs out of the way. I saw Danielle exhibits relentless anger. Waste of time. Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues huh. with authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done. Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earth's side. You assholes will bury it with your psych about bullshit. And another thing. That's a little heavy-handed. I don't think this guy's a great, uh, a great therapist. I know he has a diploma and everything. But he straight up was like, hmm, your breakup. Do you think it had anything to do with your authority issues? I think you're supposed to, like, approach a little more delicately. Anyway, I was noticing this. So those are the three audio logs we just listened to. And there is a session log for us, according to this, but it's not on the computer. So I wonder if Alex is uh, making that information hard to access. Maybe he wiped it from the servers or something. Hello. Good to 
See you again, Dr. Yu. We need to have a chat with Alex, I think. That's gotta be... That's gotta be in the near future, because I need to know what's going on. Alright, so what's in here? Oh, free Psy Hypo. So, apparently we're gonna be getting some psychic powers or something, because we keep picking these up, and they give you 48 Psy points. I don't even... We don't even have Psy points right now. But, I mean, it's still early in the game. There's a lot of, uh... A lot of time for weird stuff to happen. All right. Trevor Young mind controlled. Well, it's nice of the game to tell us straight up that he is mind controlled. Appears disorientated and paranoid. Not sure how much of current behavior is due to the incident versus his recent neuromod removals. The incident. That's a real spooky name for it. Well. We could just go in there and stun him. I don't know, is there a value in that? Because we know the code. You know what? Let's let's go for it. Uh, before he before he chokes me to death. Let's see if we can. Uh... Here we go. Get stunned, nerd. How you doing? He has nothing on him. Well. Yeah, this was a bust. Oh. Fries. 7 3. Is that a 2? 7 3 2 4? 7 3 1 4? Interesting. Thanks, man. How do I, like, lock this? Yeah. Please. Rain two meters away from glass. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So you could almost... You know, you can totally see that without going in there. 7324 DeVries. Uh, did we... Man, I'm already forgetting where we saw stuff. Nice to see you. Where was DeVries' office? Right, right here. 73... Wait. We can't get in here with a key code. It must be for something inside the office. Well, I think we've been pretty thorough in this area. Hello, good to oh, see no. you again. Oh no, no, we Dr. haven't. There's a body over here. I meant to have a look at. Could you? Okay. System alert. Repair is needed. Uh. Well, we can take this stuff. Oh, hey, that's a neuromod. Oh, I don't have a I don't have a neuromod slot anymore. Hold on, let's let's throw something out because we're definitely carrying some neuromods around. Uh, a length of plastic tubing, some plant clippings. The plant clippings aren't worth much. We can also just eat something, but I mean, there's no reason to do that. Yeah, let's just drop some plant clippings. Well, maybe we'll come back and get them later. Probably not. Uh, here we go. This guy doesn't have like a. He doesn't have a transcribe or anything? Huh. Luther Glass. Is that a name we know? We've picked, we've learned so many people's names that I, I can't. I cannot even keep it straight. Okay, so I guess if we ever get into DeVries' office, we must remember that there is a key code in that other room. We don't actually have to remember what it is, because we can just go look. Alright, are we... Oh, I'm hearing sounds. Okay. Ooh, a gun! Two guns! Hmm... I bet that's not two guns. Alright, I'm hearing noises. Oh, but there's a turret. Cool. Well, if there are any mimics around... Well, that trauma center key could have been earlier. I guess it's nice that there's more than one way to get into a place. We could have explored a couple of different locations to find keys. Ms. Goodwin, I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated. More than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. We get up here, the code is 0389. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch in the old number, so I changed it. 
would like to encourage anyone experiencing uh, symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment. To follow up on the previous center. request, I was wondering if there'd been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him. Hmm. That's suspicious. Why wouldn't you just ask them to set up a meeting? The code to your oh, office what? is 0451. There's the 0451. Okay. It's a lot later in the game than usual. Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule is very tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. Huh. Gustav Leitner is the guy who had cancer, right? Igwe showed up, quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him. Asked him to sign an album he'd brought. Leitner seemed flattered. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scammed. Huh. I still really don't know what's going on. There's a lot of, a lot of unanswered questions. Uh. Why is it so dark in here? Well, that's just a skull. Alright, we don't need that. Principles of Neuroscience and a note. Please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod. Oh, this is Bellamy's old office. That's interesting. I guess. It's sort of interesting. Sylvain, I'm trusting you with my brain. Oh, this is from us. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. So yeah, I guess we... Also, if the test drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can move back after we celebrate our success. So maybe I signed up for the repeated memory wiping thing? It seems possible, at least. Oh. Okay. Turret's got it under control. Turret, you're a hero. Jason Chang. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's break into my assistant's pass, uh, computer. Okay, we've had this map before. I did not get it, but I'm doing a lot better this time. I think still not well enough, probably. Ah, close. Well, at least we know a place where we can go and get our, uh, our post-hacking trauma treated now. Okay, that was pretty easy. Let's hack into my assistant's computer. Jason Mate screwed the keypad to my office, had them set it to 0451. I'll be in Sim Labs while. Okay, this is also for me. Password OMG Hot Boss. Classy. Also, what is with people and the. Uh, people and the sticky notes? I'm gonna eat this banana. Okay, well. So Jason's kind of a creep, but I'm still sad that he was horribly murdered by mimics. Also, I really appreciate that the game puts the code up on screen if you know the code to the thing, and you don't have to actually remember it. Alright, well, I think, uh... Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Wait, three years? I still don't know what date it is. Alright, well, I think that we're going to call it here for today. Come back next time. We might actually get our first plot point. And we'll see you then.